when you are being in your authentic energy you are going to be magnetic to the person that you're trying to attract if you feel like you are repelling masculine men but you're not sure why you're not sure how then this video will help you i hear a lot of people talking about how to heal your feminine energy but I don't hear about healing your masculine energy. While I will say that feminine energy is extremely important, and I am gonna talk about that in this video, you need to address both things. So a lot of you don't really have a feminine energy issue, you have a masculine energy issue. Now, I know that can sound a little bit confusing because a lot of people say that Oh, if you want to attract a masculine man, you have to be very feminine. Polarity. That is true, but it's not true for who you get to be as a person. So it is true that when you're in a relationship, if one person is in their masculine, then the other person is likely going to be in their feminine or else there's going to be a clash in energy but the problem isn't that women don't know how to be in their feminine it's that they don't know how to love and appreciate their masculine energy and a lot of this bleeds into relationships because if you can't appreciate your divine masculine energy how could you possibly appreciate that from someone else how could you possibly feel provided for, feel taken care of, feel supported, feel cherished by that masculine if you can't even appreciate your own masculine energy. So yes, feminine energy is very important and we're going to talk about both feminine and masculine energy in this video. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to identify if you are wounded and then how to correct that and progressively get better in your relationships once you work on this energy whether it's feminine or masculine once you have a balance in your energy and you appreciate both sides of yourself that's when you're really going to be able to attract the person that you desire because if you're not fully showing up as the healed version of yourself you're not going to attract a healed person you're only going to attract someone that mirrors you. So if you don't appreciate your masculine energy, you're gonna attract a man that doesn't appreciate his feminine energy. And then how do you think he's gonna appreciate your feminine energy? You know, so a lot of you don't realize that you don't need more feminine. You don't need to surrender to your feminine. You just need to be able to accept the energy that you already have and appreciate yourself more. Not trying to change yourself and dress differently, talk differently, act differently. You don't have to do all these things. All you have to do is be honest with yourself and figure out how you feel in your body. So when you are being in your authentic energy, you are going to be magnetic to the person that you're trying to attract. So I can say, yes, when you're surrendered in your feminine, you're going to attract that masculine provider, but you won't be able to surrender in your feminine if you can't trust your masculine energy. Okay. So let's, let's, let's understand something first masculine energy represents discipline responsibility pursuing um, impressing others accomplishing things um, structure discipline uh, protection physical reality physicality okay feminine energy represents the spiritual it represents nurturing flow surrender um, chaos darkness um, the quantum the things that are not seen it represents emotions 
desire, magic, you know, those things that go beyond physical is what's represented by the feminine. So both energies are necessary in both men and women. Obviously, depending on your gender, depending on how you identify, your sexuality, depending on all of that, who you are as a person, it's going to manifest differently. So your degree of masculine, feminine, it's going to be different. Okay, think about masculine and feminine energy being on a scale. So on here, we have feminine on the right side. And then on the left side, we have masculine energy. They're the same thing. It's all energy. So it's not like one thing is something else than the other. Like masculine and feminine energy are different degrees of the same thing. So you could be falling somewhere in the middle where you're completely neutral. Let's say you're 50% masculine, 50% feminine. Now, <laughs> I love numbers, but when it comes to energy, it's not really accurate, like 50%, 60%. It's more so how it feels for you inside, and everybody's different, okay? So just understand that when I give you numbers in, it, in this kind of way, it's more so that you can kind of understand what that means for you. It's not literally 50%, because it's hard to measure something like that. but. Let's say if you're a woman and you identify as a feminine woman, you would be more on like towards the feminine side. But if you're a man and you identify as a masculine, divine masculine, you would be more to the masculine side. Understand that no human being can exist on the ends. So no human being can just be 100% feminine energy. And no human being can just be 100% masculine energy. So you're gonna fall somewhere on the scale and the partner that you attract is going to be essentially the opposite of wherever you are so if you're like you know 80 percent in your feminine he's going to be 80 percent in his masculine and that's going to be your perfect match but before you can attract that perfect match you have to know where you stand on that scale and then with that being said, there are different situations where you're going to be more in your feminine and when you're going to be more in your masculine. You're going to have to get good at reading your energy, reading the energy of the people around you, and reading the energy of the situation. So different situations call for different things, different people call for a different reaction. Obviously, I'll help people one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes we'll even like rehearse certain situations to kind of practice how you're going to react. Now, this is if you're targeting specific areas where you know you're showing up in a way that you don't want to show up but you can do this process by yourself and you can do it in more of an overview way. Once you're able to sort of look at your past experiences and look at your current experiences, figure out how you feel in certain situations. Do you feel like you were too masculine? Why do you feel like you were too masculine? Do you feel like you were too feminine? Why do you feel like you were too feminine? When we're looking at the masculine energy within us, we're thinking about the provider. So think about a traditional household. You have the dad and you have the mom. So the dad is always considered the head of the household. This means that he is responsible for setting the rules. He is responsible for creating the boundaries for the family. He is responsible for providing for the family, right? He has all the authority to make the rules, but he also has all the responsibility to make sure that everyone is safe, everyone is okay, everyone is protected. So ask yourself about the provider within you. Are you setting healthy boundaries in your friendships, in your relationships, at work? Are you doing the things that the head of the household would need to do? Are you safe with your provider? Okay, in this case, your provider is you um, because before we can manifest externally, we have to be able to feel it and be it internally. So that divine masculine provider that you're trying to attract 
Can you be that person inside? Can you trust that energy within yourself? If you make a rule for yourself, can you trust that you'll follow it? Are you a healthy provider? Are you a, a healthy masculine representation of structure? That's something that you have to be able to work on within yourself. So if you have no discipline, if you have no structure, if you have no rules for yourself, you have no protection around you, you just let anyone come and go into your life, you just let anything happen and you don't stand up for yourself, you don't do the uncomfortable things of facing confrontation or telling people off or you know, telling people to give you space, whatever the situation may be, are you standing up for yourself? It's so common that women who are in their wounded masculine, they won't set healthy boundaries. They'll, they'll be in their feminine energy, but they can't really be in their feminine energy because the feminine can only come out when she is in a safe masculine container, in a safe masculine structure. So my feminine energy can only come out when my masculine energy is holding space for that. Now, oftentimes in our relationships, we can almost let the other person take over because once you're in a relationship, you can almost relax a little bit and allow the masculine person to take over more of the masculine, masculine roles. And then same thing, he can almost relax more into his masculine because he can let you take care of more of the feminine responsibilities. That looks different for every relationship, so don't think that there's like a specific way that you can have a, a divine balance like everybody's different like i said but if you can't even trust yourself to follow through on the things that you said then how can you then manifest a partner that you can trust them so a lot of women will write to me saying that they only attract um like feminine men or they only attract men that don't really commit to them they don't really follow through with things um they just don't show up in the way that they should show up it's not that they necessarily do something horrible to them it's just that they're the women don't feel valued the women that reach out to me don't feel valued don't feel appreciated they don't feel safe or like they're able to surrender into the relationship and so they think, oh, okay, am I not being feminine enough? What's wrong with my feminine energy? And I'm like, eh, I don't know if it's your feminine energy. Let's look at the masculine energy here. So do you feel like you can trust yourself? Do you feel like if you say something, you follow through with yourself, not with somebody else, with yourself? And so the same women that are writing me and telling me that their man is not committing these are the same women that won't commit to themselves they have a desire they want to start their own business they don't do it they have a desire they want to eat better they don't take any steps towards that they have a desire that they want to be healthier you know they keep drinking alcohol every weekend they keep hanging out with the same people that um influence them in the same way so you are not committing to yourself you are not embodying that divine masculine within yourself you don't know how to recognize that you don't know what that feels like you don't know what that looks like how could you possibly attract a man and then keep that man that would act in that way you can't even do that for yourself so for a lot of you, the problem isn't your feminine energy. It's your masculine energy. It's because you, you are not able to understand what masculine energy even is. And so when you're meeting these men and when you're talking to these men, you are literally repelling the exact men that you want to have. The masculine is unapologetic. It will protect the family you know the feminine at any cost even if that means being rude being uncomfortable so what does that protection look like well the protection's not always fun right you know if you've ever watched a movie and you see like 
the dad and the mom and then the, the child and the dad is the one that's like setting the rules and being you know very strict and the child may be resentful towards the dad may say oh my dad never lets me go out my dad never lets me do this lets me my dad doesn't let me wear that my dad doesn't let me wear makeup the dad doesn't care what the child thinks the dad is doing what he's doing is setting the rules that he's setting to protect the child he does not care if the child is uncomfortable he does not care if the wife is uncomfortable he's doing what's best for the family now this is an example that's looking at the divine healthy dynamic between the masculine and the feminine this is not to excuse parents that are over controlling or overbearing or rude to their children by any means this is only referring to the most high most healthy expression of this but the masculine does not care what makes the family comfortable uncomfortable he cares about protecting them even if that means telling them something they don't want to hear or making them do something they didn't want to do or not do something that they did want to do you know having discipline having structure setting rules so the easiest way that you can tap into your own masculine and heal that within yourself is by setting rules for yourself look at the areas where you're not really being disciplined look at the areas where you don't feel like you've committed to your goals or your desires or your purpose if there is areas lacking in that start to fill your own cup start to show up for yourself start to heal that within yourself people will feel that shift from you once you start putting an effort towards your goals and healing that masculine side of you not just focusing on being feminine being feminine you're healing that divine masculine protector inside of yourself first people will visibly be able to notice that and that will actually help you surrender to your feminine even more because you feel safer because you feel like you can trust yourself and you're not going to just settle for any guy you're not going to just settle for any partner or any outcome because your divine masculine is there protecting you looking out for you okay this looks like setting boundaries telling people no rejecting people um, not wasting your time like hanging up the phone call blocking their number like this is all of that okay <laughs> okay so i'm actually going to make this into a two-part thing because i've been talking this whole time about the masculine side and i have so much to say about feminine energy as well i don't want to do it right now i want you to receive all this information and really process it before you get into the feminine energy because i feel like a lot of women automatically think that there's something wrong with their feminine energy when really it's their masculine energy so absorb everything that i told you watch this video again if you need to um take notes if you need to if you do take notes put them in the comments i want to see i love 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 when people leave their notes it's so interesting to me to see like what different people take from the video like what they noticed what stood out to them so let me know in the comments because i want to see it if you have any questions or anything you want me to address regarding feminine energy or masculine energy let me know in the comments i promise you i will make the part two to this very soon within the next day or two um i just want to give you time to process everything i said and really understand that you have to have both healthy masculine and feminine energy you can't just focus on one because you can't have one without the other all right so figure out where you fall on that spectrum everybody's different and everyone manifests the energy differently so don't judge yourself based off of what you see others doing and how others identify you are you they are them stay in your lane <laughs> focus on yourself and you got this okay i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye Mwah.